Thanks for coming in. Uh, how would you feel about talking about your 2024 report card today? Let's do it. Okay. Well, looking at the 2024 report card, I wanted to let you know first that we're looking at both math and reading progress over 100,000 fourth and eighth graders. And the scores are based on a scale of zero to 500. You have any questions? So in reading, fourth graders averaged 215 and eighth graders got 258. Those are two point drops since 2022 and five points since before the pandemic. Oh wait, tell me more about reading proficiency. Right, so to be proficient, fourth graders need to have a score of 238, meaning that they can get the main idea of a story. That means they can also read between the lines. For eighth graders, they need to get a 281, which means they can be considered proficient and basically means that they can form opinions about what the author is saying. How does that compare to performance in the past? These are the lowest rates since the early 2000s, but let's forget, let's move forward. Let's move on to math. For math, fourth graders average 237, eighth graders 274. Remember, these are both out on a 500 point scale. Both of these are down since the beginning of the pandemic. 28% of eighth graders are proficient in math. I, I don't understand. What does proficiency in math mean? It's a good question. To be proficient in fourth grade, it means you're adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying, while for eighth graders, it's things like being able to do the Pythagorean theorem and find the hypotenuse of triangles. So what number does proficiency start with for fourth and eighth graders? Yeah, so for fourth graders, proficiency starts at 249, and eighth graders, it starts at 299. Is this happening all over, or? From 2019 to 2024, just about everywhere. For fourth graders in reading, it went down in 38 states and in DC, with the exception only being in Louisiana. For fourth grade math, it went down in 21 states and in DC, and only Alabama saw the increase. For eighth grade, 49 states went down, including DC, with Tennessee being the only exception not following the trend. So it is everywhere. Wait, where'd you get this data anyway? From the NAEP. It's also on usafacts.org.